This is Mr. Martin. These are the video notes uh, for Geometry Honor, section 11.7. We're going to be talking about ratios of areas. And in this section, we're going to have two theorems. Um, on the surface, they uh, appear to be pretty straightforward, uh, but the application of them can be a little bit tricky at times. So make sure you, you truly understand the theorems and make sure that you're working through the homework problems, um, especially the more difficult problems, uh, so you have a really good grasp of these uh, two theorems. So the first one says that if two figures are similar, then the ratio of their areas equals the square of the ratio of any pair of corresponding sides. So in the first example, we're given that these two quadrilaterals are similar. So to find the ratio of the areas, we really don't need to find the areas of the two figures. We really just need to find the ratio or the ratio of the square of any pair of corresponding sides. So since um, let's just look at PS and its corresponding side LO since this is a pair of corresponding sides I can use these two sides so that the ratio of the area of PQRS to the ratio of the area of LMNO is going to be 4 squared to 2 squared. And again, I could have used any pair of corresponding sides, and if you try that, you'll see you'll get the same answer. We've got 16 to 4 or 4 to 1. And since these are ratios, you want to make sure that you leave them as a ratio uh, in fraction form or however else you want to write your ratios. All right, so that's our first theorem. We'll look at uh, some more applications of that in a minute. The next one a median of a triangle divides the triangle into two triangles with equal areas. So be careful with this one because we're not talking about similar triangles at all. So we've got a triangle here, we'll just call it ABC, and we can pick any side to draw the median to. So I'm just going to pick side BC, median goes to the midpoint. So I'm going to draw that in. I'm going to label that D. So again, we don't have similar triangles here, but we do have two smaller triangles that will have equal areas. So now the area of triangle ABD is going to equal the area of triangle ADC. So again, the areas are congruent, the triangles are not similar areas congruent triangles are not similar. All right, so uh, let's take a look at a few more examples. I want to find the ratio of the area of triangle ABD, that's this um, the white triangle on the left, to the tri area of triangle ABC, that's the whole big triangle given that D is a midpoint. So we're going to use our second theorem. We know that if we draw a median in a triangle, it divides a triangle into equal areas. So I know that the ratio of ABD to DBC would be 1 to 1. So then the ratio of the area of triangle ABD, ABD to the area of triangle ABC, then is going to have to be 1 to 2, okay? Because um, since these two areas are equal, if I add these two together, it's going to be twice as much as either one of those. So 1 to 2 for that one. And again, as always, if you have questions, make sure that you're uh, asking me uh, the next time you see me in class. All right, so we're going to use the same picture, but now we know that AD is 5, so I'm going to get rid of these tick marks here. We've got that AD is 5 and DC is 3. So this is no longer a median, and we're going to have to try and find the ratios of uh, the two triangles now in this case. So one thing that we'll notice here is if I draw in an altitude here, this segment is going to be the altitude for all three of the triangles. It's going to be the altitude for triangle ABD. It's also going to be the triangle for this gray shaded one. And it's the altitude for triangle ABC. 
So all three triangles have a common height. So if we look at their areas, so I've got the area of triangle ABD and the area of triangle ABC. This area is going to be one half its base, so the base of triangle ABD is going to be 5 times its height, we'll just call it H, which we don't know. And triangle ABC is going to be one half its base, which is 5 plus 3, so that's 8 times its height, which is also H. So we see that the halves are going to cancel, the H's are going to cancel, and we are left with a ratio of areas of 5 to 8. All right, moving on to the next example. We know that this is a right angle here, and we know that PR is congruent to RT, and we want to find the ratio of the area of PRT to RTM, so the two smaller triangles here. So let's take a look at the given information. We've got these two sides of the triangle are congruent, so I've got this angle congruent to this angle. And I know that this, so I'm going to just call these two angles x. So I know that this angle here is going to be 90 minus x. All right, and then if I look at the whole big triangle and I look at this triangle, or this angle here, I know that the whole big triangle has um, an angle of 90 and an angle of x, and we want to find this angle. So if I subtract the two angles, uh, that I know, the 90 and the x from 180, 180 minus 90 minus x, 90 plus x, um, then this is going to be 180 minus 90 minus x, which becomes 90 minus x. So now you can see in this triangle over here, these two angles are both 90 minus x, so they're going to be congruent. If these two angles are congruent, then I know these two sides, side RT and side RM, are also going to have to be congruent. So once we do that, we can see that all three of these segments, PR, RT, and RM, are all going to be congruent. And really what interests us is that RP and RM are congruent because now TM is a median. So it's going to divide the big triangle, the big right triangle, into two smaller triangles with equal areas. So now the ratio of this then just becomes 1 to 1. All right, so that's it for this video. Uh, if you have any questions, again, make sure you write them down and ask. And um, you remember my recommendation is to work through the homework problems uh, from the back end so you're doing the harder problems first. And uh, make effective use of your class time while you're working through these problems so that you can um, ask me questions. And if you're working on these at home, uh, make sure you keep track of your questions so you can ask them the next time you see me. All right, we'll see you next time.